again, it's the match of the day time and I'm speaking to you from Craven Cottage, Fulham, where Fulham are at home to Manchester United. Now, these two teams have both played four matches and they've got four points, so they've got almost identical records, a win, two draws and a defeat. First of all, let's have a look at the two teams. Fulham are unchanged, it's the same side which beat Birmingham three goals to one in midweek and a man we're going to have to watch I think is young Metchik, the inside right who scored six goals in four games so far this season. Now for Manchester United fans there was a late scare because Dunn, their left back, had, was taken ill last night. He had a very high temperature, he was a little better this morning and it was only a few minutes before uh, the kickoff that Matt Busby decided that he was fit to play. So Dunn is in and so Manchester United are at full strength. The same team that came down was chosen earlier this week and they got those two wonderful inside forwards look at them, Bobby Charlton and Dennis Law who could ask for anything more well now with me is Wally Barnes as usual so Wally how do you think this game's going to go? Well Ken there's so much talent on the pitch this afternoon that it's a bit difficult to know where to start but I think all eyes will be centred really on Haynes for Fulham and Law for Manchester United these two of course are virtual geniuses in their own right two entirely different types of players but I think it's going to be a fascinating struggle between these two to see how they control their sides and drive them on with this rather strong sun this afternoon. Well, the teams are right, the weather's right, so let's get on with match of the day, Fulham versus Manchester United. It's Manchester United who kick off Manchester United in the dark shirts. The referee, Mr. Cook of Cambridge. The weather absolutely perfect, real shirt sleeve crowd. Free kick to Manchester United, that foul by Keach on Sadler. Keach, fair head, Fulham, centre half. Fortunately, ground very, very hard. No rain. Well, I don't think anyone could remember when it last rained in London. Fox to Charlton. Charlton inside right, remember now, not on the wing. Just to Crayrand, and that is how Charlton moving forward for that return pass. Up to Canelli. Crayrand moving forward to Decoy. Free kick given by Mr. Cook for offside. It's Connelly's shot. It's Marsh, looking like an old time footballer with his shirt outside his shorts. No kick. defence, finding Connelly, now oh, Craran, Robson, he got out of trouble very well, to Callaghan, Fulham's throw, certain what to do he's waiting for someone to move into position Langley is an expert at the long throw if you can gain a few more yards he will be dangerous I think he's okay there's a corner a corner Referee has decided that touched the Manchester player before it went over. No 
there to take the corner is Brian O'Connell, the outside left. Callaghan moving up. Manchester United streaking out of defence. Try and get somebody offside. Connell. Those Cohen. So it's law. To Canelli. Don't speak, Charlton. Keeps pushing it away to Haynes. To Marsh and Haynes moving up for this return. And one from Haynes. Fouts now finding Creron. Oh, lovely one and it's offside. Sadler's offside, I think, yes. Weizman flag. 25 minutes gone, no score. Some of the players haven't heard the whistle, but it's gone. closely marked. Now the Charlton getting away from Shadow for a bit. Into Crerand. And the defense will very, very sure of itself. Hands to O'Connell. This is the outside left. Now to Key. throw for Manchester United to Charlton. Ooh, that's key. Back to Robson. And Metric felt that O'Connell was on the left wing. As a matter of fact, he was way over here on the right wing. So now it's Canelli for Manchester United. Charlton moving up. Here's Charlton. To best. Manchester United keeping the pace slow. Law. That comes done. And Canelli must be outside. Yes, outside. Blame the players for keeping the pace down on such a hot afternoon. Shot. Finding best. Young Irish international. starter and it's a foul throw Cohen to Robson 
going again. Mitchick teeing up now for Marsh and Mitchick moving quickly down the middle, but it's a bad ball to him. up on the right wing. I say they're finding Haynes. Marsh. Up to Metchik. It's Marsh again. Key. He's centering it too near the goalkeeper. Charlton to Canelli. This could be a dangerous breakaway. Robson. Sadline anticipating a telegraph pass to Haynes, but it's Robson again. Both sides quite often threatening to do something, but petering out when they get near to the penalty area. That's Crera. He's done that back of Manchester United. Number eight is Charlton. Canelli. That's a foul brought down by O'Connell. Law. Robson now Haynes can Metric catch it? I shouldn't think so. Law to Craren. Law insisted on taking it over again. Across to Charlton. Charlton having to call in his left back done. United having to go backwards because they have got everyone back in defence and now there's a chance for Marsh. They get back to Haynes. Up comes number seven, Key. Fine shot, an equally fine save. And the linesman's flagging for foul, I think, by Cohen on best, yes. Photographer rescuing the ball. This is 
Keats. Charlton. Let's see what Law can do. He's not stamped his personality on this game at all. He's beaten now by Marsh into Haynes. Patient for a goal. This is best. George Cohen, the English international right back. seen him so he's put his flag down now. Cohen. This is Brennan, the right back of Manchester United. Five minutes left before half time. No score. Well, if it carries on like this. You can expect to see Jim Langley deciding to come up with one of those thrilling runs of his. Side right. Pace slowed down out of very comfortable jog trot. This is best. Oh, a bit of football by best. And he's still got it. That shows the standard of young George Best, who only got into the side less than 12 months ago. This is Cohen. Charlton, oh, it's a beautiful ball to Sadler, he's got a fine chance now, and a great save by Macedo. That's Robson. This is Connelly. Comes Charlton. Oh, Robson in a spot of bother. Oh, quick thinking by Macedo. Haynes up to O'Connell. A marsh to O'Connell. And Fox there for Manchester United. Craren across to Charlton. Now to Canelli. Charlton again. Crerens anxious for the ball to be pushed back to him. I don't think Charlton's seen him as he has now. 
Offside. Law was offside. Certainly the players will be glad to know that only about a couple of minutes left now before half time. No score. Foul by Fox, pushing Marsh in the back. Cohen with the free kick. just can't get with it at all this afternoon. <laughs> Here comes Styles. Charlton. Now then, let's see what Law can do. Almost on half time. Up to best. And Styles has gone right up to the forward line. Now Canelli. Great appeal for hands. Up goes Law. And it's Cohen who picks it away. Charlton. We're across now to Canelli. It's Craren moving down the right wing. Shot. Maybe a shot from Canelli. No, it's out to Craren. And the referee waving play on. The linesman put his flag up half heartedly and put it down. And it's a goal. Yes, right on half time. And I should imagine Law to me looked terribly offside then. And he went to play the ball. The goal has been. Well, we get that goal to Lord. Looked as if he touched it. So right on half time, Manchester United have taken the lead. Just when I said that Law hadn't really got with it, there he is on the spot to score the goal that was made by Canelli. Marsh. That's Manchester United again. Uh, fans in fine voice now. That's Craren to Law. Callaghan and Langley combining to get it now to Connell. And it's half time. Page was appealing for a free kick, but the referee had to uh, blow then for. Half time anyway, so with Manchester United, United leading 1 0 after 45 minutes. And Manchester United, I thought, would be lucky to be in the lead at half time because they've been under pressure for most of the first half. But in the second half, I rather suspect that Fulham are going to put an awful lot of pressure on Dunn, the left full back of Manchester United, because for me, he's been feeling the heat a great deal more than any other of the Manchester United players. He was doubtful at the start through illness, and I rather suspect it's caught up with him in this first half. So Fulham for me should be attacking a great deal more down the right side right position in the second half to throw an awful lot of pressure on the Manchester United defence. So trailing by one goal to nil, Fulham kick off for the second half. Weather still very very hot as Marsh sets the second half in motion. One nil remember for Manchester United. Not a game of sparkling excitement, but I suppose there is some excuse for the players with the hot weather, very, very hard ground. This is ideal for some bathing, but not for playing first division football. Haynes. Best. Now Law. Oh, 
fouled as he went up for that one so it's a free kick to Fulham this is a fantastic sight the whole of the Manchester United side has come back in defense it's Sadler the man in front of the wall directing operations it's hard to tell who's going to take the free kick I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't Langley. No. Robson, but it was impossible to break down that wall. Haynes, back to Langley. Take the throw for Fulham. In now to Keach. Comes Cohen again. Keach taking over. And back to Robson. Keach calling for a high one. There's the high one. It's too high for Marsh. Fox now to Connelly. And here's Law. Brennan now to Canelli. And Keach helping Langley out of a spot of trouble. Now Cohen by Neil O'Connell. Manchester United's throw. Prairie. then wasn't ready for that ball. And it comes to Haynes. It's Charlton after him. Now Key. And Haynes, oh! oh what a spin on that ball. Corner to Fulham, thanks to... Gaskell not cutting his fingernails this morning, just touching that centre. Keach. Marsh. And Gaskell did well to save that one. At the splittest of split seconds in which to see it. Craren to Law. In now to Craren. for Manchester United getting it back from Perrin. That's best. I got to that one very well. Mechik back to Robson. Here's Mechik again. Corner. Metric, of course, the follow inside right will be keen to keep up his record. He's scored in every game this season. And incidentally, Law has scored for Manchester United in every game he's played. Five minutes gone, one goal to nil. Manchester United in the lead and on the attack through Connelly. Law unmarked on the right wing. There's Law. Charlton. Robson 
Cohen. Beautiful ball to Canelli. Best coming over the side of the field. Cohen following him. How on earth did Moore climb up to that one? O'Connell. Obstruction against Marsh. Thought for a moment Marsh had forgotten they'd turn round at half time. Free kick to Fulham. Angler to take it. Box to Charlton. Charlton and Robson on the scene quickly. the ball in one goal each see what Manchester United's reaction is going to be. Here come Manchester United now, all out to back in the lead. And Law is off, the whistle's gone, anyway, I think. There's a free kick to Fulham. Back to Robson. Haynes coming close to Robson, deciding against it now. Cohen with the throw. Now here's Robson. Cross to Haynes. And the lights was flagging for offside against key but it doesn't really matter it's a goal kick That ball hit his own player, O'Connell, on the, he was lying on the ground. That's Connelly. Connelly to Best. Now Law. In 
one to Canelli. He's swerving and dipping a good shot. Certainly Manchester United look to have the more dangerous attack. United. Canelli to Sadler. This is Charlton up now to best. That's Brennan going on the right wing. Now Charlton. Can he get a shot in? Could that be a penalty? Someone was pushed down. It was Law. As Robson had the ball in between his legs. Well, now you see what Law thinks of the decision for a drop ball. And, uh, oh, Canelli, Law and Cohen. as well getting a talking to so we're going to have another drop ball now are we no a free kick to Fulham now Charlton uh, well a wee bit too lively for him Haynes. Perrin now taking over. Now Sadler, a lot of room. Looks to work. Ooh, that must have hurt Langley, but he just doesn't budge an inch. coming out now the styles and metric and it all ends with styles patting the referee on the back well so free kick to full of going to be taken by Langley thought for a moment then the referee was going to get his book out and take Stahl's name but he didn't done that's getting it through to Crero Canelli almost put Crero in trouble but he's got out of it best. Charlton. Now 
Canelli. This promises danger every time he touches the ball to Charlton. Best. So to Manchester United. That's a cover for Fulham. Up to Haynes. Last beating stars, but back comes Canelli. Claret forward to Charlton. Still has the feeling that if anybody is going to get this winning goal, it's going to be United because they're forwards look that much stronger than Fulham's. Sadler. United so far this season haven't won away from home. They lost at West Ham and drew at Leicester. to Robson. That's a lovely ball to Haynes. Is it goal? Offside though, surely. No, Metric's got away with it. It's a goal. Beautiful pass by Robson to Haynes. And Haynes has made it 2-1 for Fulham. And, and about 11 minutes left for play. Now then, surely we're going to get some fireworks from Manchester United now. Styles, who's claiming he was pushed in the back, but it's getting him nowhere. Now, this is key, the Fulham fans now with something to shout about. And just when Manchester United seem to be getting on top with a stronger forward line, Fulham come along and snatch a goal that can well give them the two points. fans whistling wanting the referee to blow for time not time yet it's about another 
couple of minutes. Along with her noses in front, two goals to one. On the attack now, Marsh. Marsh across to Haynes. Metric. Well, that's a fight for this, he's tenacious. Guerin didn't see O'Connell coming in then. Right, Styles for Manchester United. Out to Charlton. Styles bobbing up an outside right. Goes Law. Canelli. Good covering by the Fulham defence, but Macedo went out. Had to go for that ball. Styles has got up into the attack for Manchester United. They're throwing everything into it now to try and get this equaliser. That's going to be a corner. And I should have mentioned everybody up now. Corner to Manchester United. Almost the end. Fouts, the tall Manchester United centre half, got up. Canelli ticks the corner. Law. And no goal, it's a foul. Foul on Macedo. Law pushed Macedo as that ball came across. Pushed him after the first header. It will be Manchester United's last chance of saving the game. Now here's Charlton. Time any second now. And the corner. Well, that is a little bit of injury time, you remember, for Jim Langley. Everyone's got to pile in for this one. Canelli with a corner. Pullen the centre forward back, helping his defence again. Okay, looking at his watch. And the whistle is gone. Pullen have beaten Manchester United by two goals to one. 